It's six years since Ireland's property bubble burst, pushing residential and commercial prices down to less than half their peak. But the property market is showing signs of stabilisation. Foreign investors are flocking in and prices in some areas are growing rapidly. I spoke to Enda Luddy, Managing Director of Property Services Company CBRE in Dublin, to find out what was behind the turnaround in fortunes for a sector at the heart of Ireland's economic woes. I think it's uh, fair to say that there is a significant recovery underway, albeit that it is very sector specific. Um, Dublin has seen the most significant uh, upturn uh, in the last 12 months. Um, I think the, that has been um, uh, on the back of a, a lot of, let's say, new letting deals, both in the uh, office sector and the retail sector, and a lot of the investors then have, uh, have followed into those uh, areas in terms of their investments. So, yes, I think there's a significant um, return of optimism. House prices have jumped by 10% over the past 12 months in Dublin. Returns on commercial property are rising at an even faster rate. We would have had prime office yields, say, at 7.5% at the worst point in the, the downturn. That now has reduced to, say, 6%. Um, so there's been a significant improvement, so values are probably going to go up by 10 to 20 percent um, over a 12-month uh, period. Uh, we're also starting to see rental growth kicking in in the office sector. Capital values are well below their level before the property crash, but are now rising, as are transaction levels. There are a lot of deals happening on hotels, there are land sales taking place, there are um, uh, international buyers coming in to buy land for both uh, residential and office developments. Um, there's been four recent um, deals whereby you're likely to see a, an additional 600 hotel rooms been added to the hotel stock in Dublin. A modest upturn in Ireland's economic fortunes, combined with a booming technology and financial sector, particularly in the Dublin area, are driving demand for prime commercial property to such an extent that a lack of high quality office space may drive some multinationals away. Well, I think the main reason for uh, the recovery is um, predominantly down to occupier demand. So if you take over the last five years, despite the economic downturn, we've had an average of one and a half million square feet of offices been leased in Dublin every year, um, which, is a, which is a phenomenal uh, thing to have achieved in such a, you know, a, a really very, very severe downturn. Three quarters of the one billion euro invested in commercial property over the past year has come from foreign investors. A dramatic reversal from the days of the Celtic Tiger and they're changing the way property deals are structured. The other probably more notable aspect is that a lot of these international buyers, they bring a significant amount of equity, uh, so there's less debt involved in the deals, so therefore I suppose they're, they're a more stable uh, investment uh, where there's less reliance on high levels of, uh, of debt, which obviously are subject to you know, interest rate movements and um, uh, capital flows. So far, the recovery is focused in Ireland's two biggest cities, Dublin and Cork. House prices are still falling elsewhere and a big overhang of vacant retail and residential properties is subduing demand. One of the reasons why the rest of the country hasn't uh, performed as well is that if you look at the commercial market in Dublin is dominated by uh, office investments, um, whereas the provincial locations there is much more of a uh, dependence upon retail and retail has suffered not just uh, from the economic downturn and the re reduction in consumer spending but it's also an industry which is undergoing significant um, structural change uh, with a lot of migration to online shopping. Back in Dublin, strong demand, limited supply and a rapid rise in prices over recent months has prompted some commentators to warn of a second property bubble emerging. I certainly would hope that we're not going back into a bubble. I don't see signs of it at the moment. I think what you, what you do see is that in many, many cases, what you will see from a significant crash is that there's a massive overreaction uh, in terms of pricing, and we're now getting back to a, what may be a more stable um, uh, market, and you know, the overcorrection is starting to right itself. So as Ireland prepares to emerge from its international bailout program in December, there are some encouraging signs of recovery from a sector that played a central role in its crisis.